guys, this is Marcus. You know me as a Nomad Thrifter. Hope you're doing okay today. I haven't posted a video in a while. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, life has been crazy. Uh, for those who, um, you know, know, um, my oldest dog has cancer, unfortunately. He's had cancer for a while, but he's been, he's had a few surgeries. Uh, he's, on, he's on chemo, or he was on chemo. And then all of a sudden, guy he just wouldn't move and you know we just something was just obviously wrong we took him to the emergency vet unfortunately that cost over a thousand dollars but to find out poor guy has um, a mass on his spleen so we were going to have the mass removed um, that said it could give him four to nine good months not bad months but good months um, but then they called us back saying one well, the chest x-ray showed that he had enlarged heart so tomorrow which is Tuesday uh, he goes to his not oncologist but his cardiologist to um, uh, look at that to see if he's even a candidate for um, for the surgery to remove the spleen if not then we just have to put him down and it's rough you know because you know it's an animal some people just say it's an animal but he's a part of the family he's my son my friend my brother you know he's all of the above I fostered him when he was two or three years old and he's going on 11 now so I love the guy but that really wasn't you know what the video today is about it's kind of more of a serious video and I've been getting a lot of questions on it and that's should I do full-time reselling and I'll make another video. This one obviously is really inf um, informal um, in my car. And by the way, if anybody has a BMW and knows what that yellow circle is, let me know. I, I believe it's just saying my brake pads are, uh, are low, but I'm not 100% sure. So, so if you know, shoot me a message. Um, but the question is, should you, um, can you, do reselling full-time post pandemic actually I don't even know if you want to say it's post pandemic because um, I think we're still in it I don't know um, but the answer is highly likely it's unlikely that most people tradi the traditional route so going to a thrift store second hand store going to a yard sale um, things of that nature and as as I just said, I, I'm going to have to do more of a formal video because there's a whole bunch of factors into it. But the thing that you guys need to realize, and I've also noticed when people point out, they're like, yeah, we have all these full-time resellers out there and they're making these YouTube videos. Guys, I'm not going to put anybody down. I've never put anybody on blast. It's not my place to do, and I just don't want to deal with the drama. But most of the people, especially the big resellers on YouTube, they're more or less entertainers and a lot of the good ones are up front they'll let you know that their biggest income is YouTube and whenever your biggest income you say your biggest income is something well then that's probably your full-time job if you're spending more time doing your videos editing your videos than actually going out there and flipping then you're not a full-time reseller you're an entertainer and you're a good entertainer because you have a good following but you are an entertainer so just keep that in mind guys that when you do watch these videos and the ones that are really good and the ones that are, are faithful and, and upfront will let you know, hey, we make more money on the YouTube channel than we do reselling. But it all focused around reselling. Also, another thing to look at on some of these resellers, check out their page. Most of them are going to leave you a link to whether they're on eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, wherever. They're gonna leave you that link. If there's a few hundred listings of subpar products, well then you know something's not right. So that's just full disclaimer there, guys. But I will, I'll be completely honest with you, it's hard now. One, do I blame other resellers, including myself? Yes. Why? Because a good example, I've gone to the Goodwill for a week straight now and I haven't purchased anything. There's just nothing worth purchasing because everything is too expensive. Used to be four, eight bucks to get you a good pair of shoes. Now they're 15, 20 bucks for a so-so pair of shoes of Nikes or Adidas. Um, Levi, Levi jeans around here. 14 bucks for a pair of Levi jeans, not mint condition. You can go up to Ross um, or Burlington and get a brand new pair of Levi's 
for 20 bucks, right? Uh, that's no secret. Uh, it's just, it's unfortunate that these Goodwills and other thrift stores in general, and even other places, uh, I've even had, uh, I was on some of the, uh, I'm on the Facebook, actually a couple of the Facebook groups, and people are sending in pictures of um, the thrift stores are going to will have eBay prices. So, unfortunately, it does. It falls back on people like me and, and the other resellers who have YouTube channels because, quite frankly, we've gone out there. We have said that you can make money reselling items, and you can or you could. Now, don't quit your job. If you want to do it as a side hustle, yeah, go ahead. Maybe the bubble will burst. I guarantee that these thrift stores are gonna have to come down. And the only reason I say that is because there's so much backlash already. People are ticked off that these companies, yes, they do have overhead, but they are also receiving free items, right? So, I don't know, it's, it's hard. It's hard right now, because there's so many things to factor into. And I know some of the smaller people who are just kind of selling stuff out of their closet are like, hey, Marcus, you know what? They switched the tax law. Yeah, they did. You know, if you're selling and you make $600, you sell up to $600, you know, then you they're going to collect your social for tax reporting. So you're not going to be able to get around that. And weirdly enough, I, I didn't really understand the magnitude that so many people were not paying taxes. Guys, you've always had to pay taxes. If you sold something for $10, you would have to pay taxes on $10. But unfortunately, it's almost like having a yard sale. You know, how does the government know or how does the IRS know that you're having a yard sale? Um, same thing with like servers. You know, I remember when I was younger, I was a server. And did we always report our full tips? No. Should we have? Yeah, absolutely. Legally, we were supposed to. But it's the same concept. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, guys, uh, again, going back, you know, people like me and other resellers who have channels and they've talked about their profits, you know, these thrift stores, they know about these channels. They watch these channels. And unfortunately, now it's a thing where the prices are adjusted. And I went to three Goodwills today. I didn't purchase one item. and But I noticed that they're super, super packed with, with stuff. And so my theory is because of it being so overpriced, us resellers who apparently are a large majority of their customers, according to, you know, different um, Goodwill employees. I don't know if that's accurate or not. It doesn't seem right. But I do know that... Uh, the whole reselling community has increased, you know, by a couple hundred percent. So, uh, I just went off a tangent. I don't even know where I was going with that one. Um, but no, I, I, I do think that the prices will eventually go right back down because the three Goodwills I went to today, um, they were just packed to the gill with stuff, all overpriced. And I think you're going to realize that okay, well, if, if a lot of people who are resellers go in here and shop, they're not going to buy that stuff. Your normal people aren't going to buy that stuff either because it's way overpriced. At this point, you might as well just go to, if you're just a Joe Schmo looking for a good deal, you might as well go to Walmart at this point. So will prices go down? Yeah. So, but going back, should, should you quit your job right now and become a full-time reseller? Absolutely not. Um, one thing that I would suggest which maybe I should do like more in a formal video, um, would be a niche, a better niche. Obviously, like I do shoes, I do clothing. Um, those are the big things. Those are the most expensive things. Now, if you want to do things such as antiques or, or picture frames, um, I don't want to say obscure, but just things that are under the radar that these people at the Goodwill are not going to spend the time to search for because they might not uh, be able to search for. I mean, Google Lens is awesome. But it doesn't work too well with the antiques or. Yeah, guys, so I, I'm not, I'm not trying to like scare scare you off. I'm just being upfront with you. Um, the one thing that I do appreciate in the comments are, you know, hey Marcus, you're upfront with with people. You don't try to hide anything. You're not flashy. Um, and I do appreciate that. I, I like those comments because yeah, I am just an everyday person, just like most of you guys. Um, and I try to be the most honest 
um, and we're all growing together. You know, I'm not, I, I never claim to be a guru or I'm not a person who sold for, you know, two years and they magically are jack of all trades. Um, I'm just a regular person like you. You learn from me, I learn from you. And uh, that's what's so great about this reselling community. But guys, just, just know you're not alone if you're struggling with your sales. We all are, I am. I'm, I guarantee all of your, your bigger resellers are. Um, we're just kind of at that time where we're just at an in-between. And I don't really know what else to say about it, but I do hope everybody's doing okay. Thanks for watching. I know your time's valuable. Have a great night, and I will catch you later. Take care, guys.